Hello friends, once there was a fox with very high self-esteem. He was very confident and successful and usually didn't take no for an answer. One day he came across a nice garden where he found bunches of grapes in a vine. Foxes like grapes, so he jumped to grab those grapes which were a little out of his reach. He tried for some time and failed. His self-esteem did not allow him to accept failure, so he said to himself, these grapes are sour anyway, before walking away. We have heard this story before, but not in this perspective. This is a common phenomenon in our day-to-day -day life, when our actions don't align with our self-image. We develop an inner discomfort when this happens, and we come up with rationalizations and justifications. Congratulations, you have just learnt a new concept in cognitive neurology. It is called cognitive dissonance. When our actions don't align with our self-image or beliefs, we have two options. Either we can change our behavior or we can change our beliefs. Usually we take the easy path of suppressing some facts and justifying our actions and that's the cause for dissonance. Dissonance basically means disharmony or inner conflict. At the personal level, a smoker who is trying to quit and keeps failing may tell himself, what's one more cigarette going to do? Or something like, everyone dies of something, so what's the big deal? A diabetic patient who wants to eat sweets may tell himself, this one time is not going to hurt me. But the problem is that multiple such one-time indulgences lead to poor sugar control and health problems. When it comes to relationships, let's say a person lies to a loved one. He may justify it by saying, I didn't want to hurt her or something like that. It's the so-called white lie. A person may vehemently talk against the caste system in public, but he may not allow his children to enter into an intercaste marriage. When confronted, he may say, I'm only doing what everyone is doing or something like that. Let's say a person buys some shares from the stock market. Later, some bad news breaks out about the company and the stock price falls. He may try to explain it away by saying the owner of the company is a trusted person. They will overcome this problem or something similar. A corrupt official thinks of himself as a respectable person but keeps accepting bribes. He tells himself, society itself is corrupted, what can I do? And it doesn't stop there. Even criminals and murderers try to justify their actions. So you see, every time there is conflicting information in our brain, we always have a ready-made explanation. We don't want inner tension, so we come up with justifications. This is called cognitive dissonance. This cognitive dissonance has evolutionary roots. The basic thing is, life situations are not that simple. They are usually complex, but still we need to make quick decisions to survive. Maintaining status is important in human societies, so there has to be some explanation for your bad behavior. All this is okay, but it becomes problematic only when it keeps you stuck in self-destructive behavior. So when you are faced with the option of changing your belief or changing your behavior, try to choose changing your behavior. The overarching theme is that when you understand something, you have the power to influence it. So next time you catch yourself coming up with excuses for something, ditch the excuses, face the problem and do what needs to be done. Because each time your actions align with your values, the inner tension resolves and you become a stronger and more authentic version of yourself. This is true in all domains including personal health, relationships or social behavior. So what do you think the fox should have done? I think he should have let go of his ego and maybe asked for help from a bigger animal. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you find these insights useful, please hit like and subscribe for regular updates. Thank you. See you next time.